So welcome to how to install and set up the installation of Blender. So usually I would have an intro that shows you an image of what we're going to be accomplishing at the end of today's lesson. But since this doesn't involve any actually modeling, it's not at the beginning as all my tutorials, guides, tips, how to's and requests will in the future. If you're viewing a modeling tutorial on YouTube or Vimeo and they don't show you a picture of the finished product of the video in the first 30 to 60 seconds, the video producer doesn't know how to make a high quality tutorial and I would move on. Otherwise, how do you know what it should look like at the end and what you're going to be producing? Blender is a 3D modeling program that is very powerful, has a lot of tools, it can be, it has a lot of scripts that can be edited by the community, and best of all, it's free. And you may say free, well, okay, usually free applications are either lacking in features or they're just plain crap. This isn't true with Blender. Blender is very, very powerful. The learning curve may be a little bit steeper than some 3D modeling applications, but it's very powerful. It is comparable to things like Maya, whereas Maya is in the hundreds of dollars range. Blender, again, free. So, if you don't have Blender yet and you're looking to get started, obviously, we're in Google, we're going to type in Blender. We're going to go to the home page, blender.org. Uh, the latest version is 2.72a. I'm sure there's minor differences in it, but I'm going to download and install the latest version. I suggest you do the same, even if you already have Blender, an older version. That way, we are synchronized. You have the same version as me. I have the same version as you, and we're not trying to make fixes back and forth. For example, when I was first learning Blender in version uh, 2.6, um, a lot of the tutorials and even the documentation, the wiki and such, was made for Blender 2.4, and a lot of things had changed in those two minor revisions from 2.4 to 2.6. So you'd have to Google, you know, how do I do this in 2.6 compared to 2.4, and it was a waste of time and it slowed down the efficiency and workflow. Now, for just an indie developer, someone who has a, or someone who's doing it as a hobby has a lot of free time, that's not a big deal. But if you're doing this to have some sort of income stream, or time is very limited for you, you definitely want as fast as possible. So to download it, Blender's got a nice and easy web page. You just click this button right here. It automatically knows what OS you're running. It has a change log that tells you what's new in all in the latest version and older versions, as well as right here. It tells you more about what the latest version has. Um, you can also download older versions if you want them f to use old scripts or tools that aren't compatible with new versions or if you just want to see what older versions look like. So we're going to download the newest version. Click the button. Like I said, it already figured out that I am on Windows. I'm on 64-bit, so I'm going to choose the installer. Uh, you could choose the zip and run it kind of portably but the installer is best I'm not changing I'm not gonna move it to a different computer so we'll download it and we'll go from there so thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe and like button if you didn't like the video please let me know in the comments it is no advantage to anybody if you just hit the dislike button without telling us why and if you tell me why I can make improvements to the future videos and they will just get better and better again hit the subscribe button so that you see all the new videos in the future and that's all for now thanks for watching